Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. The sun's in my eyes. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. So sorry if I'm squinting and my eyes are watering. I'm just making up some uh, bird, wild bird food for the birds around here. We usually get blue jays and um, woodpeckers, um, the juncos, they have the little gray birds, lots of chickadees. Um, and I usually buy a big bag of bird seed, just, you know, cheap stuff. This is a uh, farm mix, it is, it's got mostly corn and some small sunflower seeds and some little little nuts like little brown ones um let's see i don't know what else is in there we'll throw some to the chickens but see just mostly corn it's mostly corn and a few sunflower seeds um we'll throw it down for the chickens they're out there waiting so I buy the cheap stuff because I usually mix it up with a bunch of stuff so um I use just my mixing um, measuring cup here and I mix uh, I put in about oh gosh I don't know it was a couple big big spoonfuls of it all depends on how much you're going to use but some big spoonfuls of peanut butter and then I take a handful and I warm it up in the microwave for just a few seconds so that it's easy to mix in and I take a big handful of the bird seed and a big handful of my regular sunflower seeds that I get for the chickens. They're a little bit bigger than the ones that are in the bag um, that come in the feed. And I mix that all together. And if I have anything else, I throw it into. Sometimes I'll throw in bread. I haven't seen a lot of birds yet, so I'm not gonna do a bunch of bread yet. And it's pretty warm. I don't want it to mold and make the birds sick and have them die or anything like that. So um, I don't usually do that kind of thing until it gets really cold um <clears throat> then i have more birds that find the feeder and i'm just putting this one out this year um for this year i should say for this season um this is a piece of birch wood that we had to cut down um last year last winter a storm uh, bent them over and once they're bent over typically they don't stand back up and it was in the driveway so Scott went down and cut it um, and we cut it up into you know firewood sized pieces and <clears throat> I went to a friend of mine's house and they had taken a piece of wood like this and drilled big holes in it and put um, little places for the birds to stay in perches uh, and they just uh, filled it filled it full of peanut butter and you know what I just made up what I just told you how I made it and it, it's pretty pretty good and the the chickens seem the chickens the chickens do love it too um, but the birds seem to love it um, and so I fill up the little holes I've got them all the way around and I staggered them and I just used a drill bit on my uh, screw gun and um, just put it in there and I didn't go all the way through of course you could go all the way through and then stuff it totally full with peanut butter but I went in just made some pretty deep holes probably a couple inches deep and then I can fill it and then the birds come and they can sit on the little perches and peck the stuff now by the middle of probably January February it's gonna be totally covered with snow here I would imagine it typically is um, and the birds are here constantly once that happens. And this gets emptied a lot. So I had a bunch extra, so I put it on top. I don't know, they'll eat it, something will eat it. And the chickens, we have them blocked off from getting up here on the deck, but they find ways when they know there's food up here. So um, they'll be up here pecking at it too, I'm sure. <laughs> Cause that's just what they do. Um, and I also have this feeder here that I hang for them. So this one just sits here on the, you know, just on the stand. It usually stays. I haven't had it fall. The only time it's fallen is when there's been chickens up here pecking at it and they knock it down. And of course they love that because 
think that's their plan because then um, the ones on the ground can get at it too. So, but I was going to fill this as well, but I realized that there's a bunch of old food and fat down at the bottom. Um, and they really can't get to it because the little holes are blocked. All right, so if you ever have this problem where your food gets caked down in there like that on these things, this one had a screw inside there and I just took the screw out or undid the screw and on the other end is a nut, which I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get that back in there. But then that allows this bottom part ooh, to come out. There we go. Oh yeah, and you can see all the stuff. That's all that caked in there. Woo, look at that, it came right out. And there's holes on either side for the little perches. So you just make sure your holes line up with the holes on the tube. Put that in there and we're gonna put this one over here there we go and then so then I'm just using my finger to push in that screw that's in there hold it. I don't know how I'm going to get that back in there. Huh. All right. Well, we're going to put it upside down and that way it won't go inside the tube. Okay. It's on the screw. Now if I can do it left-handed, we might be able to get this to go in. There we go, it was going the wrong way. Okay, so I just held the screw, I mean the, the nut on this end, and I held onto the screw on this side and put that in there and kept holding onto the nut and it cleaned it right out. Looks really good. It came out really good. All right, so I have my funnel for my, um, my canning and I have a glass cup whatever you want scoop and I have a big hole in my seeds and I'm just gonna slowly fill this guy up I noticed the other day when we did get a little bit of snow that I did have a couple birds come and visit and I thought well geez I don't have anything ready for them so I went and got some seeds so that's all nice and full ready for them to come and eat so if you're interested in how I did this actually I do have a video on it that I did um, last year I think it was yeah last fall I think um, and I'll link that down in the description if you're interested in how I did this. Super simple and you don't have to use birch. That's just what we had down here that had fallen over and what was available. So um, I just did it that way. But anyway, hope that helps you guys get ready for the birds this winter. Um, so I wanted to show you what happens when I put dirt down on the driveway with um, some salt in it. And what happens when it warms up and the sun gets to it. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I threw some dirt there. And I can see the difference between the driveway dirt and the dirt that I put down. And it made this open spot where there's dirt down to the driveway. So it's melted the snow. I'm still going to be careful because it's still slippery, but at least it, there's some give to it. So this is what happens when you throw salt sand down. You can see it's pitted. It's all like melted down in certain spots where the sand and salt have gone down in. Um, so that's what it does. And it kind of creates a, a melted spot where the sun can get down in there and heat that up. And then it just gets bigger and bigger until it turns into big open spots like this. 
And then you got the pitting here, but this spot here is all opened up. This spot over here where I threw sand. And then this, you can really see it. See, there's this, this is where I threw the sand. Went pshh, all right there. And it's right down to the driveway dirt. And as the sun hits that, it's just gonna keep melting and working its way so that it's all opened up like the edges. Um, over here, same thing. Threw some sand and, and uh, salt there and it's working its way in, which is good. It's making all that pitting and that makes it easier to grip for walking and driving and whatnot. I wanted to walk down, I'm gonna go down here where I gotta go down the edge because this is all melted here. The sun is hitting this really, really good right now. Um, but down here it's shady and this is why the top of the hill is always a pain to um, get to break up once it's frozen and icy. So I see where I threw the sand, but it really didn't work in. Like in the middle over there, it kind of did a little bit, but it didn't really work in as much as I really wanted it to. And it's still very, very icy right through here. And then it opens up and then kind of goes down and then it opens up as it goes down the hill. We, we scrape the hill um, and the sun hits it very good. So it usually works really well. But right here, it's really, really bad every year. Um, and if we're gonna get in trouble, this is typically where it is. Um, Scott had a Jeep one year and he came up and he didn't quite make it. We ended up having to winch the thing. We had to attach it to the trees because it slid back down, down the hill a ways and he got it to stop, but we had to winch it to the trees and the snow banks were fricking five feet high. So we're climbing over snow banks. There were trees here. They're cut now that we were attaching it to, to get it up the hill because it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't make it up because of this spot right here. And it's very shady. It doesn't get a lot of sun except for when the sun comes up over here. Um, for a little while it gets sun, but it's really not strong enough this time of year. And those trees really definitely shade that a lot, as you can tell. But um, maybe I'll get some more sand out and do this a little bit heavier. Probably should have done it heavier here. Because it is breaking up in spots. I see there's a spot there. And there's some spots there but it is breaking up so once it starts it kind of just creates this thing where it just creeps up more and more and opens up more but i just wanted to show you guys the difference oh my word they just had a frenzy right now there's green grass i guess like we haven't seen this in a while <laughs> you guys are crazy chickens these guys are enjoying it okay guys time for shout outs we have a bunch of christmas cards bunch we got in the mail it's awesome thank you guys so much it's totally awesome uh so first card it's a it's the most wonderful time of the year this is from mitch and christine from my tiny retirement and everybody's links to their channels, if they have a channel, will be down in the description. So go check them out. These are all awesome channels. Okay, next one is from Charles um, from Fallen Arkansas Veteran. It says Merry Christmas. Very nice card. Uh, this one is Ah, from Cat and Dawn. This is from Cat in the North and D. Thomas. Thank you, guys. Joy to the world. Ooh, and a sticker. 
Joy to the World. This is from uh, Ann Dale from Ann Dale's Homestead. And she sent me one of her awesome stickers. I'm so excited to get it. It's so cute. This is the Land of Plenty. Um, and that is all of her tomato plants. So if you don't know what that means, go check out her channel and check out her uh, video on her tomatoes. She calls it the Land of Plenty and it's really cool. So thanks for the sticker, Anne. Love it. It's gonna go on our sticker board. Okay, and this one's beautiful. I love it. It says joy. Look at all the sparkles. Beautiful. This is from Debbie and Mark, two old people on a couch. Awesome friends of ours. So thanks, guys. Love it. Okay, and this one says Merry Christmas. It's a beautiful card. And this is from Bill and Crystal. They actually are in Maine. They don't have a channel, but um, they are subscribers of ours and now friends. Love it. And they also sent some, uh, this is the Scentsy Joy and Wonder um, Circle Smelly smells so good. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to show you guys, but I really want to open it. Mmm, it can smell through the package. I love it. Thank you guys so much. It smells delicious. And last but certainly not least, Believe in the Wonder of Christmas. Beautiful card. And this is from Marino. And um, Marino has a channel, Marino's Mysteries. So pretty awesome. And he sent an awesome sticker. Let's see if I got it right. Yes, I did. So, so cool. So we'll put those stickers up on our sticker board and we're gonna put up our cards where we can look at them and it will remind us of such wonderful friends that we have that we have gained from YouTube. Um, we have got some upcoming or an upcoming video of some stuff that's happened here on the homestead. And uh, so stick around for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Much appreciated. Thanks for the cards. If we get any more of anything in the mail, I will definitely um, do another shout out, whether it's before or after Christmas, doesn't matter. We really appreciate getting them. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.